Hi, I'm Amanda Richards with the UT Libraries and the Betsy B. Creekmore Special Collections and University Archives. And today we're going to be doing page tear repairs two ways with tape and glue. A book to repair. Tape. Scissors. Bone folder. All right. So for the tape repair, you'll need a torn page. And here I have two examples, one that has a curve and then one that's rather straight. So we'll grab the, um, the document repair tape and measure out the length of the tear here. Just kind of eyeballing it. And I like to tear instead of cut uh, the tape because it just blends into the paper better when you burnish it down with the bone folder. So now we will try to separate the very, very fragile tape from the backing. And we will place it over top of this tear. Now, if there were text on this page, we would try to line up all of the edges of the font, so that way you would be able to see the repair at all. But it's a blank page, so there's no text. Now, with your bone folder or Teflon folder, you will lightly burnish the tape like that, and just work out all the air bubbles and work that tape into the tear and it should disappear rather well. Um, then for the top, you can either fold it over or trim it off. And I prefer to trim it off the top. So with a pair of scissors, or if you prefer a utility knife or scalpel, you could do that as well. And you'll just trim close to the page without trimming the actual page. You can do the other side, but that tends to be a little bit more bulky and I don't think it's really necessary, so I usually don't. All right, so then if you have the curve, it's the same process, but because your tape is straight, you'll just do it in two parts. So a smaller tear here. Just like fast forward through all that. <laughs> all right, so now we'll place it on that tear up to the bend. Same process as before. Now you're seeing the lines on the edges of this tape because this has come to me without the box still on it. So it's picking up a lot of the hairs, which you normally wouldn't see. Um, but this is a withdrawal book anyway that I'm using, so we'll just pretend it doesn't exist. Now we'll measure out this one as well. Same process as the first time. There you go. So this is repairing a page tear by the gluing method. You will need a book to repair. Two wax paper sheets. PVA. 
paintbrush and a weight. Okay, for this repair, we're going to be gluing the page tear. And this time, to do it the glue method, you need to have the tear that is going across the page at almost like a 45 degree angle. So um, you can actually see the inside of the paper and yep, that's about how that is. Okay, <laughs> so you'll start with putting a piece of wax paper down underneath and grabbing your paste and a very small brush. And when you glue the tear, you're going to make sure that you're getting just the area of the page, uh, the surface of the tear that is considered, I guess, the inside of the page. You don't wanna get any of the printed area or surface of the paper, just the inside. And the less glue you use, the less cleanup and the neater your repair will be. Okay, so now when you've pasted it, you will lay the top page back down on top and try to line up the text prematurely. You'll line up the text as evenly as you can and then burnish that top page over top. And this tear usually is not the neatest. It leaves a lot of fibers in the paper. Um, oh, out, frayed, I guess. And I will just pull those fibers over so it blends in a little bit better. And I'll run my finger over it once on the front and the back to see if I need to tidy it up with a towel or a napkin. Make sure everything is even. Place the second piece of wax paper on top and leave it under a brick for about 20 minutes until that dries. And that's a complete repair. And today we're gonna to be doing the page tear repair with adhesive of some sort. I don't know.